Hello everyone, it's James Chamberlain and today I have a Discord tutorial for you guys and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any user in your Discord server completely unbannable by staff or really whoever you can choose. And a lot of people may not understand why this might be helpful to do because really your staff are there to be doing their jobs and to moderate people. However, say you have a moderator in testing who may not yet know what they're doing or say you're concerned and you have some raiders that could try to join into your server and there are people that you don't want to give like really high powerful administrative and moderation powers but you still don't want them to be able to be banned if say raiders hop into the server or something like that happens. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's get started. Alright, so guys, here I am in my server, James Chamberlain Fans. If you guys haven't joined already, I would really appreciate it if you did. Link will be in the description to join this server. But today I'll be showing you guys how to make a user here unbannable. Right here we have our test account, me likes to ban people, server moderation. And this account is going to be the account that is going to be attempting to ban our user here. Big shout out to Bloodlust here. In addition to boosting this server and giving me Nitro, super, super nice guy, he also went ahead and offered to volunteer for this tutorial. Over here in Microsoft Edge, I have an account right here. This is the Me Likes to Ban People account. This account has, basically, it's one of the highest ranked accounts in the whole server. It has permission to do pretty much whatever it wants. Right over here, as you can see, I can ban and kick Bloodlust if I want to. I can even control his roles, basically do whatever I want up here. But let me show you how to prevent that. Here we are back on my main account here in the server and the first thing you want to do here is you want to go into your server settings by heading up here to the arrow and clicking server settings. Now what you want to do is you want to go over to your roles tab and in the roles tab you'll see all of your server roles. What you want to do first is you want to go ahead and create role. For the sake of this tutorial we will name it unbannable. And there we go, we now have our unbannable role. Now, you don't need to change the role color or do anything like that. Just leave it the way it is. And you really want to have display role members separately from online members. You want that ticked off. You also want everything else pretty much just ticked off. This isn't a special role. It's just here for the sake of making our user unbannable. Now what you want to do with this role here is you want to click on it and drag it above the banning user's highest role. So for example, we'll bring it up here, and it is now above me likes to ban people, which is our server moderation account's highest role. All we have to do now is click save changes. Now as I said, we'll be using Bloodlust for the tutorial. Again, Bloodlust, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. But right over here, I'm going to assign him the role on bannable. As you can see, the role is in fact above server moderation's role, and previously, if you saw server moderation, did have the permission to ban him. We have now given him this unbannable role. Let's now hop into the moderation account in Microsoft Edge and let's see if it is possible to still ban him. All right, here we are back on server moderation and let's attempt to go ahead and ban Bloodlust. As you can see, it looks like he's just a regular user here, but let's right click him and as you can see, I no longer have any permissions to do anything really to him. I cannot ban him anymore. I can refresh the page and as you guys will see, again, we're still not gonna be able to ban him. Yep, still unable to ban Bloodlust, as you can see. I can, in fact, change his other rules that I am above, but I am unable to mess with this unbannable rule, and he is unbannable. Now, just to prove that this works, any other user I go to, I still have permission to ban unless they are higher up than me. Okay, so guys, there you have it. There's a super simple, easy tutorial on how to make any member in your Discord server unbannable without affecting the server or having to remove one of your moderators or admins or make any changes to them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Goodbye everyone. And and a lot of some people may not understand, but you do not want them to be able to be by link will of course be in the description. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to make somebody. So what my goal is to do here, so for example. All right, so guys, here I am in my p So over here, so here's where the, over here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how on this admin account, I can make a user. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to grab the role and you want to, 
Now from here, what you want to do is you want to grab the unbannable role and you want to move the role above the user and, and you want to move and you want to move this role above the user and you want to move this role above the user who you're worried about banning the person. You want to move that above their highest role and you want to move that above and you now want to move. Now, as I said, we'll be using Bloodlust for the tutorial. 